Ken Trahan with Lenny Van Gilder. It's our first NBC Bank weekend preview brought to you by First NBC Bank with 39 locations throughout southeast Louisiana and into the Florida Panhandle. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. The New Orleans Saints in a must-win situation really the rest of the year, and they head to Tampa Bay for a late game to take on the Buccaneers, who are one of the hottest teams in the NFL, winners of four straight, and playing that well defensively, offensively, this is a maturing team. This is a tough spot for the Saints, Lenny. It is a tough spot. And not only you've got this one, but then you've got to turn around and play this team again in 13 days. And look, these are different in terms of having to play teams so close together. You see it sometimes three weeks apart. It's very rare to get in a situation where you're playing teams twice in a, you know, in a three week span and you got to. Uh, one less day in there because Tampa Bay will come to the Dome on Christmas Eve. So it's going to be interesting to see just how these teams game plan, not just for this game, but for the rematch. It'll probably make preparations a little easier, which will be a good thing on what will in essence be a short week. But, you know, how, how will that change what you do this week, perhaps, in, in trying to, you know, maybe hold some things back? One good thing on the Saints side, they've had a lot of success in Tampa. They've won the last four years there. This is clearly a different Tampa Bay team, though, that is playing much better. We've seen Jameis Winston really emerge here in year two. No doubt about it. Uh, this is a good football team. They could very well be the team to beat in the division now based upon their balance. Atlanta's better overall offensively, but Tampa Bay's better defensively. So it's flip a coin where that's concerned. And the Saints, of course, leave themselves no room for error based upon where they've placed themselves. And right now in danger of having their third consecutive Non-winning season and their fourth in five years, which doesn't bode well. That is officially a trend. Where the New Orleans Pelicans concern, it's a disturbing trend as well. Losing 7-15. and 15. Lost a game they could have won against a depleted Memphis team earlier this week in double overtime. And obviously, the Pelicans were missing some key components too. But Memphis overcame theirs. The Pelicans could not overcome theirs. And now they get perceivably, traditionally, annually the worst team in the league in the 76ers so you talk about a game you have to win this is a game you have to win this is a game you have to win there's no question about that and then send you on to the road for a couple for a weekend west coast swing to the clippers and to phoenix uh, three and four days that includes a trip out west so this is a this is a key stretch you know for the pelicans getting ready to, to head into the you know head into the holiday portion of the schedule here that They've got to start to make some hay. Look, you know, the Clippers are going to be very tough, as I found out when they came to New Orleans last week and really, you know, put one on New Orleans. But, you know, if you could find a way to go 2-1 and one in this three-game swing, I think you have to be able to do it. High school football, it is the culmination of the 2016 season at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome this weekend. Friday night, or Friday afternoon and Friday evening, two championship games to be decided. The 1A game at 4.30 between Haynesville and Logansport. And then the 8 o'clock game is the 2A championship between Sterlington and Madison Prep. And then on Saturday, you got three games involving area teams. Lutcher against A Meet at noon for the 3A title. It's Edna Carr against Neville at 3.30 for the 4A championship. And it's Landry Walker against West Monroe at 7 p.m. for the 5A championship. All three games on WGSO 990 AM and at WGSO.com. The original from the Dome Live Friday night from 6 to 11 with a host of guests and hosts as well. That's a mouthful. It is a mouthful, but you'll have a great time this weekend. We'll all have a great time this weekend watching you know, the, the best of Louisiana high school football on the non-select side. Really looking forward to Saturday and getting a chance to see these area teams. And, of course, check out our full preview of the non-select finals uh, special video here at SportsNola.com. Indeed, we hope you will, and we hope you'll enjoy your weekend, as I'm sure we will, and we look forward to it. Lenny, you have a good weekend. You too. See you Monday. That's our first NBC Bank weekend preview brought to you by First NBC Bank with 39 locations throughout the New Orleans area and beyond. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. For Lenny, I'm Kenny. Have a great weekend, and God bless you.